What's happening guys, back at you with another video. So we're continuing on with our Scream ranking videos. This one is basically going to be Ghostface Reveals video. So fair warning, there's going to be some spoilers for all the Scream movies, Scream. Uh, basically the Ghostface Reveals. So we're going to go ahead and get into this video. So I warned you enough. Alright, so starting off at the bottom. Well, first off, let me say that the way I'm kind of ranking these is basically how surprised I was by the reveals. Basically, um, what were the motives behind the actual killers, like their killer motives and all that. Starting off at the bottom is going to be Screen 5. Now, I said before that I was really underwhelmed with this whole reveal. Um, it's kind of a repeat a little bit of the first Screen movie to where it was the love interest and then you had the other person to... I do like the motive though. I like the motive how it was like toxic fandom or talking about toxic fandom and then, you know, basically having them create their own movie because the last movie was bad. I like that whole motive. It just like I upon seeing it the first time, I definitely was underwhelmed with it on this reveal. Um, was it surprised or anything like that either? You know, basically it was kind of like a repeat of the first movie a little bit. So that's reasons why I put it at the bottom. Uh, moving to the next one is for me is going to be Scream 3. Um, like I said before, Scream 3 is a watchable movie. And if Scream 3 is considered the worst Scream movie, then it's still a pretty soft franchise. You know? Scream 3 with the reveal where it was um basically Sidney Prescott's long lost brother and he kind of like planned stuff from the beginning or you know he set up Billy and to become the killer in the first movie. Um it was interesting. You know, that he was a long-lost brother of Sydney and all that. But, um, I don't know. I wasn't really... I want, I'm not going to say I'm not surprised, but, like, I wasn't really keen on the whole reveal too much. I thought it was a good reveal and all. But, um, just was it as big of a reveal as some of the other movies. But, uh, yeah. That's why I put it at that spot right there. Moving on to the next one. We got our most recent release of Scream 6. Now, this one, I kind of like the reveal of this one. I kind of like the motive between to where it was basically revenge... It was kind of a repeat of Scream 2 a little bit, but um, I still over, overall like the uh, motive and the reveal. Was it too surprised I was able to guess one of the killers um, out of the reveal? So there's some reasons why I was able to put at this bottom list. You know, I like the whole revenge motive, you know, that they're taking revenge for their brother or, you know, the son. The whole family is doing it. There's three ghost face killers and all that. That was interesting. Uh, I like the motive a little bit better. Um, it just wasn't as surprising or anything like that to me. Moving on to the next one. Speaking of revenge for a family member, we're going to get into Scream 2. Scream 2, I thought was a very interesting reveal. I like the motive to where it's like basically revenge. Also, you know, it's Billy's mom taking revenge on Sydney because Billy died in the first one. But, uh, along with her partner to where his motive was basically like, just he said he was just doing it because of the movies you know that was kind of his influence and all that um so it was definitely an interesting reveal to where it was actually revenge and it was billy loomis's mother um to you know it's just interesting setup honestly where it was the whole revenge kind of motive i like the motive i like the reveal and it was definitely a pretty good one moving on to the second spot on the list is going to be scream 4 scream 4 still remains one of the ones that i've been the most surprised about um Basically, we got the reveal that it was, um, I think her name was Jill, Jill, um, which is Sydney's cousin. Basically, her motive was like, you know, she was tired of living in the shadow of Sydney. She wanted to be her own thing and be famous for her and be on her own terms famous, you know, her terms, you know. Uh, but still, it's still one of the biggest surprises out of all the movies when it comes to Scream. That it's, I really didn't expect that one to happen when I first saw it. And we get the other killer's motive where basically he was just doing it because he liked you or he loved you or whatever it was. Date basically doing the name of love, I guess you could say. Um, I mean, that that whole motive doesn't really stick with me that much. But like the whole motive between uh, the whole motive and reveal between uh, Jill, still one of the best, I believe, in my opinion. I was really one of the ones that were I was most surprised by when first watching it. I thought it was such a huge surprise. So that's why I definitely had to put it higher up on the list. But of course, coming at the number one spot is going to be the original Scream movie where we get the reveal of Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker. Um, this, like I said before, the movie sets the standard for the other Scream movies. It's still one of the best in the franchise. And the way that this reveal comes out where it's like, it wasn't super obvious. Of course, it gets ob more obvious to who the killers might be and all that but still it was just a big surprise reveal 
when it came down to it in the end to who the killers were and just everything about this movie the way it's set up and the whole motives between like sort of taking revenge out on Sydney's mom of course going after Sydney and all that and the way that it just sets up this this movie is set up sets up the reveal and all that stuff it's still pretty damn good so I gotta give it to Scream the first Scream movie for the reveal and the motive and all that between that but yeah that's definitely how I would rank them um, from the bottom to the top let me know down in the comments below how would you rank these ghost face reveals but that's going to be all for this video hope you all enjoyed it remember if you want to be a part of team legendary all you gotta do is subscribe and turn notifications on so you know when i post another video hope you all have an awesome day and remember be legendary